How's it going, guys? Chris back here again with some more Historic Brawl. Uh, today, we're checking out old stick ringers because we're still in the Adralzy kick, and uh, I was looking at available decks that I had that kind of in that were in line with what I wanted to do, which is get an Eldrazi on the battlefield as quickly as possible. And the Stick Fingers Grizzlebrand deck was just kind of a perfect answer. So I built another version of it, and I don't know if it's anywhere near as decent as the first version of it, but what I do know is that it's a bit more random in what it's going to get because we have the three Eldrazi, we have Grizzlebrand, and I think that's it, but I don't know for sure. Um, could be anything, really. Shieldred. Yeah, no, I also put Shieldred in here. Um, she's not the best hit, but, like, she's a hit. Rupian's Rulik Mons, which is another favorite card of mine, so... We actually have to keep Stick Fingers alive to use the uh, reanimation spell we have. Sacrifice a token upon it. Next year we're gonna have to use uh we're gonna have to ramp somehow. Probably Cult Steel Heart. I would like to Death Sprout, but I need an additional black source to pull that off. Like, I kept Blood in the Snow in this deck, and in theory, it never reanimates anything. So I didn't really need to put in all snow lands, but I kind of went with all snow lands. Uh, because it's a two color deck, and it's not really that big of an issue. Uh, rude. Hey. So let's get rid of that boy. And that'll be our uh, our mana for Casualty of War. Like, Shieldred's probably our weakest hit, if I'm being honest. I didn't put in Vorinclex, her contemporary. But because she reanimates, she's actually a little bit... She's a little bit okay. Can't cast non-creature spells. I'm okay with that. Rude. No block. So let's go three. Neat. Sacrify the creature opponent. Next time we get Grizzlebrand. So this is an actual Rolic Bond stack, which is kind of cool. This is rough, man. I might have waited too long for my casualties of war. Oh. 
Still in a bad way. I think we're dead. Yes, just unfortunate, really. Yeah, no, that was fine. We saw the goblins coming. On to game two. I've been trying to stay ahead on recording, which I've done an okay job on, but... I don't know, man. You feel it creeping closer every day. This is an okay hand. So we have Balakut on one. Could be a Sprawl Chief of Compliance. Really, my dude? dead man there is no way to describe how dead we are let's start eating counter spells Makes sense. So I'm going to go one. Cancel. Let's do it this way. Uh, control Z. And one. We're So this will get us something in the bin either way. And when our opponent counts it, we might actually be able to deal with Brawl. That's the theory behind the issue. As unlikely as it is. I feel you, Spellslinger. I know how uh, some days you just have bad days and you want to play a Brawl deck. Like, if this is your go-to deck, uh, that may be, uh, that may just be a neurologic issue, but, uh, Shieldred, okay. Not the first pick I would have had, but, uh, Diagraph for birth. Eventually, the counter spell will run out, right? Like, that's the theory. In practice, it never happens, right? But, you know, whatever.
Yeah, I think we're done playing against Brawl. We've seen how Brawl operates. We know how he works. It's never going to end. Best to use your time in other better places. On to game three. Man, this is a quick one. We haven't even seen any of the Eldrazi, which is a bit of a shame. Well, we have. We saw two of them in the first game, but they never made it to the battlefield because Grizzlebrand was objectively the better choice in that particular circumstance. Free mall. We'll take this. This is okay. Springleaf Drum may seem weird in a deck that has, like, six creatures, but in order to get one of our creatures on the battlefield, we always have to play our commander. So we open on Springleaf Drum. At the moment, we're just trying to force out removal spells. Mm, that works. Sky Scanner dies. Desprout the bug. Gurk is almost protected. He's going to take one, but we cannot avoid that. If they surveil too much, we can also get him down to shielded range, which would be nice. Evens our goal. Is 
So we didn't get the trigger from it, but we did just get rid of our opponent's only creature. It should be good enough. Reveal their hand. So removal, ramp, reanimation, ramp, removal. Yeah, our opponent is done. So those were our three games. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.